Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you guys how to make plastic out of any old milk and white vinegar, doesn't matter really what type, but make sure it's white vinegar. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a strainer, any size, any shape. Um, you're going to need a tablespoon measurer and you're going to need a cup measurer and of course a microwave safe bowl. Okay, so to start off, I'm sorry if this is a little bad quality, but we're going to take the milk and we're going to pour just above the one cup line. So we have about nine ounces. a little much, but it'll do. And then we'll go ahead and put our milk away. And you're going to put this into that microwave safe bowl. Like so. And we're going to microwave it for 1 minute 30 to 2 minutes. Um, you don't want it to boil, you just want it to get warm, maybe hot. And I'll be back when I'm done. It's about 30 or so seconds left. Um, you can see just the milk is steaming just a tad and sorry you can't really see through the microwave that much but 20 seconds left and it should be good. Might take it a little early but as I said you want it pretty pretty hot. Okay, and here we go. We're going to take this out now. You might want to feel it with your finger to make sure it's nice and hot. Okay, and you're actually going to take your vinegar and you're going to pour a couple tablespoons of that. So I'm just going to keep it in your sight here. There's one, and we're going to add another. Two, and you can actually see it starting to curdle. I'm going to pour these last two pretty quickly. You can see the curdle starting, and I'm going to grab a spoon here to mix it with. And we're just going to mix it gently, making sure that the acid in the vinegar will actually separate um, the plastic forms out of it. And it starts to harden a little. As you can see, you can see the curds, and wow, I can really smell the vinegar. Oh, woo! Okay, and we're going to let that sit for a couple seconds, and we're going to grab our other bowl, right here, and we're going to take this bowl and put it in our sink, sorry that it's a little dirty, and we're going to put the strainer over that, we're going to keep stirring for a few more seconds here. And I think we're good to pour it through the strainer. And what you got is this substance right here that looks pretty interesting. Okay, and we're actually going to take our paper towels now and put them by the sink here. We're just going to probably double layer that. So add a few more layers here and we're just going to take our plastic mold and just plop it right onto there and you can take cardboard cutouts and fold it into any which shape you want. 
but we're just going to rinse out the strainer here. It does take a little bit to dry, and we'll have to play around with it, but it's pretty interesting stuff. So, let's take that, and we're just going to fold it. I'm going to fold it into this kind of cylindrical shape, I think, and or sphere, and it does get pretty hard, and we're just going to mash it in like that to get that juices out, and as you can see, it's starting to form just a little bit, and when you smell it, it does smell like vinegar, but it's a downside to it. And we're going to grab another paper towel, actually, and just fold that over and let that sit for a few, just draining its juices out on its own while we clean up. Be back in five. It's starting to form into a real plastic-like substance, and I would not recommend eating this at this point, in case you had any thoughts about it. And it does get a lot harder than this, and... It's best to make sure you don't use too many wet paper towels to try and dry it because obviously wet paper towels won't dry it. But the rest, you should let that sit for a few again while you take care of the rest of the stuff. But I'll let you watch it for right now and I'll be back when it is nice and hardened. Hello YouTube. Um, here it is after sticking it under a fan for about an hour and a half and then putting it in a cup in a dry area for about I'd say two days probably. Um, it needs to fully harden before you actually do anything with it and you can shape it but you could have shaped it before people have made dice out of this but it's really hard. Nothing. It's like completely hard. Um, a few chunks do fall off, but they're really hard. But, um, it depends on the mixture and how well you actually dry it and stuff t to determine how hard it will actually become. So, but this has been how to make plastic or a plastic-like substance out of milk and vinegar. Now, it ain't clear, but it's plastic. See you. Bye.